it's below 70. So check this out, man. I was surfing Facebook early this morning. And uh, there's a streamer, this video from the streamer uh, Phantom popped up. And he was sitting there crying in front of the camera. Talking about all his dead homies. <laughs> and then he said the thing that it, I find the biggest flabbergast in the world. He's like, I called my homies' f phone and I forget that they dead, man. It's the yeah. dumbest shit ever. Dude, what? You're an Dude, idiot. You, put the drink down. Put the crack down. Put whatever you're doing too much of down. <laughs> if you can't remember that your homie died, you're a horrible friend. You're a horrible friend. <laughs> I just don't. I just don't get it. What are you doing, guy? What the fuck are you? Even I think about. I think about oh, Amsdill probably once a week. At least. And, and I can tell you one thing. I've never I've once never since I was twenty-seven. <laughs> I've never in the in in eleven years of him being dead. Yeah, I guess this is the the name of this podcast is "Do You Call Your Dead Homies?" Because you forgot they were dead. No. How the name of this bug is, how come you ain't answered? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I know why I didn't call. You left You I... left me on unread. The fuck, dog? And then the funniest response I got to, <laughs> to, to my comment on it was, this guy's gonna literally take what he said word for word as literal, like he wasn't using a figure of speech. I was like, go ahead and tell me where in here is a figure of speech. You can't just say it's a figure of speech and make it up. It's had to have been said for a long time. I don't think that guy knows what figure of speech means. <laughs> well, the, I guess the grass ain't always greener. Correct. It might, it might be over your homie's grave, though. Yeah, because of the fertilizer and whatnot. But his phone, he's not answering his phone, and it's not going to ring down there in that box either. I don't know if he's got a charger. You don't call him. Why are you lying for clout? <laughs> oh, he doesn't need the clout. I'm just saying he's he's a uh, uh, why are you lying? Somebody that streams in Kai Sanat's house. Oh, gotcha. He's one of those guys. So he's got he's got the he's got the people, dude. Listen to this song. <laughs> oh, I've heard that song. I couldn't really tell what it was at first because it was not picking up very well. Oh, it was but... cut, cutting in and out. That's so dumb. Yeah, and and like whistling and. That's crazy. It's like right, it was like right up on the fucking mic too. It's <laughs> almost said... like Discord was filtering it like background noise. He said, "I want a nut in you all I night." <laughs> Not until the sunlight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna nut up oh. on your face. <laughs> oh, never, never undefeated. The internet will always win. Until you feel that meat, and I'm gonna feel the coochie. <laughs> <laughs> until you feel that meat of mine. <laughs> so good. Right? the commitment that we love Quit playing computer <laughs> what's it doing it fucking keeps sleeping my screen even mm. though i have it set to not do that needs more training yeah i don't know this it must fucking identify as a woman did you catch a <laughs> i told it to do one fucking thing and my computer is not following directions. so we found the reason for the 21 cents yep Did you uh, catch up on Invincible? Yep. I gotta watch the one that came out yesterday. Some Starro shit. That last one was crazy, dude. The one last week? Yep. Fucking Rexplode. Fucking barely got out of that bitch alive, dude. And he fucking lost his hand? Yeah, and they killed Kate. Who's that? The girl who replicates. Turns herself into multiple things. Oh right, yep. And they kill the what's the the the, bum, the bumblebee chick, the, the shrinker lady with the the wasp lady looking. 
Oh no, she climbed in the very beginning of this episode. She climbs out of that guy. She fucking shrunk down into. She's oh real really? Yeah, real fucked up. Is she? Yeah, he like you know when he swallowed her and I think he like yeah I think he like all her bones. Yeah, that's what I was thinking happened because I heard yeah. all the cracks. Like it didn't say yet, but that's what I think because she came out fucked up. Right, was she just like emerge from rip his body open or something like that, or she like shrink shrink down and fly out his mouth or something? No, um, Rex exploded his head. Right, and she climbs out his neck hole. Oh, okay, full grown yeah. or? Uh, not really, but like she kind of expands as she comes out because she's oh. so fucked up. Oh, right on. She's like, yeah. So like when it broke, I think when it broke all her bones and shit, pretty much knocked her out. So she couldn't expand, but as soon as she had the chance to, she naturally is going back to regular size with all, right. all kinds of broken bones. Damn, that's crazy. I was like, because I was like, holy it's shit, they really- literally just killed off two fucking members. Yeah. Well, and it, what's even crazier is Kate is from the first season. Right. She's like w- one of the longest running members aside that's from... What- Dude, that's what I love, though, about Invincible and The Boys. Yeah, motherfuckers just die. Game and, of Thrones style. Well, well, yeah, and it's like, it's like, because it's, because they're not really, like, Invincible, I was, yeah, okay, yeah, they're heroes, but they don't really have, like, that no-kill thing, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they do in Marvel and DC. <laughs> so, like, yeah, so they it's can a cool, everybody. <clears throat> like, it's, it's a cool take. And you catch yourself in in these, at least I catch myself when I'm watching these things. I'm just like, every time a pivotal moment happens and they and they make they go, take a left turn and they don't do what I think should happen, I'm just like, oh shit! Like you wouldn't like, there's no way they would have done this in the Flash or in any fucking Marvel or any DC thing. Like that's they would have found a different way to explain how the heroes won in this instead of just straight up murdering a bunch of people or maybe it's just me i don't i don't expect to see quote unquote superheroes killing people so when i do see it i'm just like oh shit like uh first episode of green arrow Oh, that's dude, what fu- got everybody hooked. Dude, fucking, as soon as that guy, as soon as Oliver snapped that guy's neck, I was like, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. For the rest of the series, I'm locked in. I actually heard that, uh, I don't know if Stephen Amell said the same thing or not, but Grant and... uh. James Gunn were asked about Grant being in the DCEU. And Grant was like, if James Gunn asked me to be the Flash, he's like, I will definitely do it. I'm like, oh shit. How cool would that fucking be? He popped in some. Oh no, that was the. That was the other way around. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gotcha. They actually, apparently, they actually cut the Grant out of. They had footage of him. I'm sure they did. They're fucking great at making movies. Right. And ex- and especially how like that the Jay Garrick from the Flash movie was supposedly CGI generated, but it looked exactly like fucking Teddy Sears who played Zoom. It looked yeah. exactly like it looked exactly like him. But that that'd be like a weird I mean, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see Amel and fucking Grant go to the movies as their characters. But how do you explain it? You know what I mean? How do uh, you... Some sort of wormhole or something. Well, DC has the universe police. Who's that? Remember the 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 chick that Cisco fell in love with whose dad was Danny Trejo? The Breachers? Yeah, they work for... They they go and get people who go between universes on... Uh, like... Yeah, between universes, but like... Well, that's where Stephen Amell and that would be an easy way to throw that in there, where Stephen Amell and Grant Gustin could end up maybe because of a breacher or something like that. They get flung, blah, 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 to a different universe. You could, to kind of avoid the whole Barry did it with the Speed Force thing. 
Right. Yeah, because, they, because they can't play it out as once he unsaved his mom. They can't play it out as a different Barry because they already played that. They already played those scenes right. out. Right. So, like, some sort of happenstance or mistake. Right. The classic, uh, what's it called? Gilligan's Island. Uh, I don't get it. Stranded. Oh, stranded right, yeah, somewhere. yeah, yeah. Yeah, stranded somewhere and trying to get out. Yeah. Because you can play it off so many times. You can stretch it, and it really probably wouldn't even get that annoying. Because there's but, so many things you can try to do to get back to where you're from, and they just fail. But, like, that's not even the hardest part of explaining how they get there. It's just like, what? So, and then what do we do with the history of that they've already established? Yeah, you don't, we don't talk about what history we, on Gilligan's Island. We're just trying to get off the island. <laughs> what do we, like, how do you, well, like, because that's going to be a big, that's going to be a big thing. Yeah. Because they'll have to have, like, flashbacks. And like, shit. what do you mean? How is Oliver not the Spectre anymore? Uh, probably maybe from a time before. I don't know, but I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but once he becomes the Spectre, isn't he, like, all time now? Yeah, but there's still Oliver, there's still Oliver Queen from back then in different timelines. The Spectre is just over all of them, and he's no longer Oliver. Because time's I mean, not living in the DC universe. The only way I see him doing it is, um... A crisis style, but they've already blown that nut. They ruined all of it. Yeah. We're not ready for it to be redone yet. You could just stop doing it altogether. That's true. For a couple of years. Just fucking lay off. Yeah. The, um, you know, the line in Suicide Squad where they ask why Idris Alba's character is locked up, and they say, because. He shot Superman with a kryptonite bullet. You're muted, I think? No, I um, do remember. Oh, that you just part. said, yeah, unaudibly? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Guess it didn't pick it up. <clears throat> um, Apparently, there's in the Superman Legacy movie or Superman movie, whatever it's called coming out, there's going to be a news article in it that says uh, Superman was hop hospitalized by a kryptonite bullet. So apparently, the Suicide Squad is going to be. Canon to the new shit. Yeah. And Peacekeeper season one will not be. But season two will be. All right. So season two is going to suck. <laughs> season two is going to be like not as outrageous and not as raunchy, I bet. Probably not. But I, that... I do think... um. And I, I don't know if I heard James Gunn say, or if I read James Gunn saying this, or where I heard this information, but I kind of agree with it. Whoever said this, um, and it might have been James Gunn, that Peacekeeper is kind of going to be like the glue, or just like the the device that they use to link everything together, kind of. You know what well, I mean? Because right. like in... In like Crisis, they have like uh, that what's his name, Psycho Pirate, and like he's like the one, he's like the uh, the opposite, the other driving force of the Crisis issue. So apparently, they're gonna kind of give that role to Peacekeeper, which is whatever. What's up, Goku? You wanna go outside? Let's go, bud. Oh, uh... go, McDonald, McDonald. <laughs> Dude, I I don't know about you, man, but I've rewatched that freestyle of Brent Moore and Adam Ray and Rick Glassman a bunch of fucking times. A bunch of fucking times. What are you doing? Reading uh, bullshit about Jake Paul and fucking Mike Tyson fight. That oh yeah. Well, what is what? How interesting is that? <laughs> I mean, it's about as interesting as I am. So fucking not that interesting. Dude. Hey, let's let's uh try to fight a sixty year old man. Even at our age, ten years older than Jake Paul, fighting a sixty year old man. Like, are you kidding me? It's not fair. I'm not fighting Mike Tyson, but I'm like, also... yo, I don't give a flying fuck, man. That last fo fight against Roy Jones Jr. He looked. They both looked like uncles out there. 
Yeah, we can't be doing that. Uncle Mike, yeah, we... why you out here? Put your shirt back on, Uncle Mike. Come on, man. Let's just have some fucking burgers. Nobody wants to see their T.O. fighting out in the fucking yard. <laughs> no one wants that. It just ruins the party. And nobody definitely wants to see T.O. get beat up by a 28-year-old fucking 205-pound boxer. T.O.? Just means uncle in Spanish. Oh. Because Spanish uncles, Hispanic uncles fight even more than crazy Irish uncles. Hmm. I I do I would love to see the st statistics on that. Because Ooh, Irish uncles be some, Irish, I, uncle Irish uncles be drunk as fuck, man. I don't know. I just got, I got I got my my money on the on the deal. I mean, not my family. Most of the people, most of the dudes in my family are recovering alcoholics. <laughs> My one cut, my one uncle's like all his all his sons are fucking. They've stopped drinking. They've all are alcoholics <laughs> that have had to stop. Sometimes it's a good idea. It's a great idea, dude. Why do you think I stopped drinking when I was fucking like twenty five? I stopped drinking a few days ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bert. I'm Bert. So. Uh, Bert, yeah, one Bert, one Bert, uh, Bert, I went to sleep. One Bert exactly goes, I'm drinking. One Bert goes, yeah, I'm sober. I always in my mind go, Bert sober. I mean, <laughs> that means you at least had one drink and you're high as hell. I'm not hearing a distinction between sober and Bert sober. Dude, he was just on Shaq's podcast. That shit was so funny. The entire time Shaq was cracking up, dying, laughing, talking about, I think, I, Bert, you're my fucking twin. He's like, I take pool showers. <laughs> He's like, hold the fucking phone. I'm going to call Tom right now. Oh my <laughs> I'm God. calling Tom right now. Jesus. Yeah, so who's stupid for taking pool showers now, Tom? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bert. <laughs> Two people now. Two people are. <laughs> and the, <laughs> you the and Shaq. The one thing I'll say about Shaq's podcast is even though it's, it's good, there are so many ads, dude. He I is bet. he is like all his commercials that he does are all in the fucking uh podcast too. So it's like a commercial every three minutes, dude. It's crazy. I already made the commercial, so now they just pay me to run it on my podcast too. Like, like dude, how much more money you need, man? Just or just do something all like do a do a ad dump in the middle or something like that. Come on, it's like. It makes it almost unwatchable. It costs one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars a month to keep my eyes straight. <laughs> That's straight, Shaq. <laughs> Damn, dude, they ripping you off one hundred seventy thousand. If I don't take my medication, it gets <laughs> much worse than this. It's actually not a, not a bad impersonation of Shaq. Uh, just imagine him like not taking his medication and having his eye fucking disappear pretty much because it's so fucked up. You use both your eyes. That's not funny. You ever see that video? No. This is a little Maybe. kid. This little kid is a TikTok, I think. A little kid complaining to his ma with a juice box in his hand, and he's got a lazy eye. Oh yeah. And, and she goes, she says, "Use both your eyes." Yeah, use both your eyes, and then it just a like, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I would lose it. If my kid did that, oh, yeah. That. <laughs> give, give me the phone. I have to. I have to record this. Do it again. Do no. what again? All right, we'll get it next time. We gonna get into some handicap parking spots. With that. Yeah, it would be dope. I mean, I already got that, but. Mm -mm. Handy Kizzle, handy capable motherfucker. Handy capable of parking damn near wherever I want. <laughs> yeah, you're so capable. We got wow. We got to make an extra ramp. <laughs> oh, I don't need that ramp, bro. I can walk. <laughs> no, it's just funny to think. <laughs> like, oh yeah, you're handy capable. Then why do you need this ramp? <laughs> Are you capable? <laughs> nope. Yeah, <laughs> but you were capable. And that's not very handy. Super unhandy that you're not capable of walking up these steps. <laughs> So why don't you just fucking use the ramp? Shut up, Richard. Oh, reminds me of Brendan. He's not even capable of being in a vehicle at all that the chair can't wheel in now. I believe it. Yeah, he's a statue. Yeah, he's he's locked up now. Yep. Fucking Damn. his whole body is Akon, dog. <laughs> he's locked up. 
Trying to take it easy. We frozen like this. Damn. One leg moves and that's it. Damn. Yo, he's got a he's got, he's got this old hippie live-in girlfriend. Oh no shit. Yeah, she's like <laughs> probably like sixty or something. Oh god. Fifty-eight. Does 60. she slap? Does she slab him up at least? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. This guy was like, so you like, you know, you like, you suck his dick and everything, right? And she's like, well, somebody has to. All right. And, uh, yeah. So now right. everybody gets along. I All right. All right. Then you can stay. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in. Uh, he lives in this pretty nice apartment that overlooks a uh, part of like a suburb of Denver. He's on the. <laughs> so he's it got a pretty nice apartment that overlooks some saggy ass titties. <laughs> not. Not untrue. <laughs> He wakes up Not in the morning true. with the fresh smell of mothballs. Better than him, though. Better than smell. Be better than the fresh smell of Brendan. Nobody wants that. She keeps him clean, and she keeps the house clean too. So I'm down with it. Don't think. Don't don't think too much about it. You know. That's funny you though. Might, you might burn your retinas. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, because if you're not if you're not slapping them up. You need to go. You gotta go. You're not just gonna leech off of them. <laughs> yeah, apparently, like, uh, you met on some dating site, and he was like, let me make you dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I called Uber. And he did. He did. He made something in, like, the, the hot pot or whatever, the pressure cooker. He made yeah. some shit. I think he made ribs and shit. No shit. Yeah. My guess is it was literally just ribs. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's pretty good if you stuck in that position to be able to make some ribs, I guess. Yeah, dude, you can do a fuckload, man. Or used yeah, to be able to. It's not as much as it used to. Now it's that. real bad when I set shit up at high places. I'm like, keep talking that shit, dog. I'll put this shit up so high, you'll never see it again. <laughs> you won't even be able to turn your motherfucking head to look at that shit. Your eyes don't go that high anymore, cuz. I will fucking put this in the ceiling, in the roof. <laughs> like, yo, fuck around, watch me raise everything four inches. <laughs> Bitch, I will, I will take your charger for your chair. You will be sitting still. That chair does not move unless it's charged. <laughs> it's like a Tesla. Locks up as soon as you fucking got no charge. It does not move. The wheels don't move. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. How yeah. how are you gonna how are you gonna lock the wheels up, man? That's fucked up. When you lock oh, the you wheels can... up, that's fucked up. I can unlock the wheels after that happens because you have to have an Allen key and get down there and do it. He cannot do that, <laughs> bro. I'm looking. I'm sitting here looking at uh my main page of fa of uh not Facebook YouTube. And there's RFK on one of the thumbnails. Bro, did you hear about the tweet he sent to Tim Dillon? No, but I love it already. Bro, so Tim Dillon sent out a tweet with him and a girl saying, Psych, I was lying, guys. I'm not really gay. And then RFK comments, She's a beautiful woman, Tim. I can totally see how she ungayed you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I know, no, right, dude? He's hilarious. <laughs> dude, that's so funny. If anybody reads too far into that from a man that smart, fuck you. That is hilarious. Dude. Got my vote, bro. Right? Played, like, come on. All he's just piling on. <laughs> I wonder, So is everyone taking it seriously? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. I just saw somebody that talking about funny. it. It would be funny, but that's fucking hilarious. I think I saw Rogan talking about it. That shit's fucking hilarious, man. <laughs> that shit's fucking hilarious. Ungade you? And you know he's, he's you know, not allowed to make like too racy of a joke. And you know Tim's like, oh, I gotta respect that. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Good. That is the funniest thing you could say. No one can beat that comment. That is the funniest thing that can be said. And that's why he and that's why he wins.
Because it's all about the funniest response. Sure. Because it doesn't even have to be the best response. It just has to be the funniest. What do we got? 13 views on the yesterday's episode? Oh, no. Eight days ago. My bad. That's dumb. That's episode four. Don't click that tab. Hey, do you want to talk about that now? Or... No. I just happened to see it. I oh, was right. like, oh, cool. Yeah. It just was on one of my tabs. Cool. Did you go McDonald? McDonald. Fucking Brent Morin might be the next Nate dog. <laughs> All those courses he, he came up with were fire. Do something with Lonely Island immediately, dude. All those courses he came up with were fire. Where did you go? Where did you go, McDonald? McDonald? He's done way too much theater. That motherfucker has done way too much theater. The motherfucker's That's a musician, bro. Say. He's a singer, man. All I gotta say, fuck. <laughs> I think he did miss his calling. He does need to switch it up to like hooks and no. He, it's not that he's missed his calling. I think that he. It, I just think that uh, he's just su super under fucking rated and undervalued. For real, he's him and uh, what's he's so name? he's Austin so Rick good. I need to make a album. Oh yeah, and Adam Ray. Yeah. You can leave Adam Ray out of there. Pick somebody else if you want. You can, he anybody can be substituted in with him. I mean, true, but he's still he's having fun with it, and that's. I mean, you could get Lamorne in there. He's pretty him and uh, Lamorne and Harry Mack went on Tyso, and they did the same thing. Ooh, the Boondock Saints are back for a third movie. Guess what? Thumbs Don't care. Down. <laughs> Don't care. Zero what carry. I do, what I do like about uh what is this the only boondocks i want to hear about is the cartoon what i like about the microsoft start screen is that everything you think is stupid there's a little thumbs down icon you can click nice and it highlights a down thumb like it's just is it important no no it's hella not but but does it make me feel better yep it's totally thumbs hella not important down. Pope expels disgraced former bishop. Thumbs down. It's not par for the course. So I watched Roadhouse last night. It was uh Yeah, how was it? I don't know. It was alright. Yeah? Yeah. Argyle right. is better. Really? Yeah. That doesn't give me confidence. Well, there you have it. That sucks. It sucks when. Why, 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 are, why are they running out of so many ideas? I don't know. Like how could how how is this possible? Like we got Chat GPT. Hey Chat GPT, what's a cool movie that's never been done? Let's find out. Well, South Park did that with an episode or whatever. I yep. think they did the special too. Or it just was that. Man, are we gonna get this Michael Chandler fucking Conor McGregor fight? That would be tight. Still not official, of course. Thanks for the clicks, you fucking dickheads. Appreciate you. Not official. Conor Bray what was making fucking movies. He's not coming back? I mean, he is. And he in 2024, he's been the most drug-tested well, person yeah, he's fucking... involved in the UFC because he's supposed to fight this year, so they've been hitting him like every other week. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. That's crazy. Well, if you fucking see him in, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, I you get it. He is like a no, picture I've seen of him. him from I've Road seen him. Oh yeah, he's mo he's a monster, dude. He looks like like he put on thirty pounds of straight muscle. He doesn't look like that anymore. No, he doesn't. But like now that he's back in the testing pool and and like working out, he he dropped all that. He just, I think he just did it for the movie only. For the movie, yeah. Yeah. Of and he, he might have done it clean if he was pounding like. If he did the Henry Cavill thing and he was eating like 9,000 calories a day and everywhere you go, you like, if you stop walking, you do 50 push ups or some shit and 50 pull ups to keep pumped up for the whole scene. I mean, that's possible. He's a, he's mm -hmm. a UFC fighter. Definitely. Yeah. He, they can do that shit. They do it for eight weeks, except they don't get to eat as much. He can just fucking pound food and do it. Right. He might have just bulked up. But I don't, he looked he looked like he was on roids. His face was fat as fuck. Yeah. He was crazy. 
He was yeah. crazy looking. Yeah. This sounds sort of juice. Yeah, man, and it wasn't an apple. Where did you go? Where did you go, McDonald? Yo, I saw the trailer for The Penguin TV show on HBO Max. Oh, and I, yeah? And I just got one question. Why? 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 Why should I care about this Penguin <sighs> story? You can't just throw Colin Farrell into something and fucking make it, people watch it. Yeah, this is, basically, is is basically what it seems like to me. Like, a granted, Penguin, he was the he was a dope part of the Batman. He was dope. Yeah. It was but cool. give give the Penguin its own. It's like you know what? It's like giving, uh, it's like doing Gotham without like Jim Gordon. I was thinking the Gotham Penguin, like, oh, he was so well received, but I, it's I guess just a direct spinoff. Yeah, d d direct spinoff. And it's all about him trying to, like, he remembers, like, when he was a kid, the guy who was, like, the mob boss died, and they threw a parade for him. And it's, he's just, so it's basically just, he gives off, he's given off the, incent, the, what's the word I'm looking for? He's given off the feeling that that's how he wants to be remembered. Like he wants to be so big that they throw a parade when he dies in his honor. Uh, like I'm not gonna watch that. Gay. Like I don't want. That's dumb. I don't want to watch that. I'm not watch that. I'm turn it off. At all. There's no Batman in it. No Joker. No Batman. Who cares? No Nightwing. Nothing. Yeah. Like I I'm don't. Sure, they're gonna fuck. throw something into it. Like you know what? You like you know what they should do next. If this is successful, they should fucking make a show called Olsen. Ooh, I think they already did. And just be about the photographer who can't get any bitches. Or put it on the CW, then he can get some bitches. I don't get it, though, man. Mark Strong is Carmine Falcone. They got Mark Strong? Yep. Fuck, DC's wait. They wasted it. Yep. They wasted Mark, Mark Strong Mark. again, dude. They wasted Mark Strong again, bro. I was so pissed off when he died in uh the second what's that spy movie? Kingsman? When he died yeah. in the Kingsman, the second one, I got I was so fucking pissed. Definitely I was so... killed off the one of the better characters, obviously. Dude, Mark Str dude. It's in his name, dude. Like, how was he not the best part of Shazam? I think he is. For sure. Like, nothing was better about that movie than his character. Well, just like, the, like, the, the, the job he did was fucking insane. Like, he was the, he, 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 in a way, he kept the movie grounded. At least for me, anyway. Because yeah, I don't think. He wasn't like, he wasn't the worst at first. And then he got all fucking corrupted and fucked up. Or will he, oh, he's just a fucking traumatized kid who's trying to fucking impress yep. his dad. And then he kills everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably watch the. I'll watch the pilot. See what it's like. I can't imagine it's going to be great. I don't, I don't like watching Batman again. That's not rewatchable to me. It was good the first time, but it no. wasn't. No. Couldn't rewatch it? Like it? Not really. Damn. It was, it was easier to watch Dark Knight fucking returns or whatever than it was to watch that one a second time the dark knight's not even a batman movie it's a joker movie no this the third one dark knight oh. rises my bad oh Ugh. You watch yeah. that one? oh my god <laughs> oh my god the i'm gonna be i'm in the minority so long. i'm in the minority on this but i think christian bale is the absolute worst batman he's not the greatest like, I th I like him as Bruce Wayne. He's okay as Bruce Wayne. But he's definitely not great as Batman. No, it's terrible. Yeah. If you can make fun of it that much, then it can't be that good, right? Exactly. Like, even he Val Kilmer would hard. fucking try it. <laughs> you know? At least Clooney was the best Bruce Wayne.
Yeah. I mean, until Affleck showed up. Affleck was good. He was cool because he got to play the older Batman. I don't know if it, I don't know if he was playing as old as everybody thinks he was as supposed to be. No, I mean like late forties Batman, not fifty five, sixty Batman uh, from the right. that double one. No, like late forties Batman, the one before Batman Beyond. Yeah, exactly. When he needed a suit, couldn't just do it with his amazing physical attributes. Hey, puppy. I don't know. For me, Conroy and Affleck got it. Definitely the voice of Conroy. No, just like all for all around. They, For me, they both nail Bruce Wayne and Batman. Yeah. I don't think Kevin Conroy ever looked like Batman. Should look, but... No, but he voiced the character. Yeah, he voiced both characters very well. And he did get a chance to be him in live action, and it w- it was awesome. Yeah, it was it sweet. It was awesome. Old ass, broke ass, crazy Batman. Not broke it. I mean, broke ass like he's got, he needs an exosuit. Yep. Broken ass. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, Affleck killed it, man. Killed it. Maybe he was a little bit more of an angrier Batman, but that's a fine. Yeah, that was an angry time. Yeah. How how can Bruce Wayne and Batman be any more than rageful when Dick Grayson's dead? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but and, and I'm sorry. Are... Your mic. You're breaking up on your mic. So move. fucking Superman and aliens are rolling around destroying the earth and shit. Dude. Get salty. Brute, there's no way there's no way Batman survives without Dick Grayson. Impossible. Hey puppy. If he does, it's basically just every plot line is Batman tries to sacrifice himself and die. <laughs> Alright, it's time for me to die on a spaceship. I saw this version of a Batman comic where um, they said Alfred was the Joker the whole time. That'd be pretty wild. Because he, because his, because Master Bruce needed something to do. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's just you chucked that. You can put that right under. Somehow, Palpatine's alive. <laughs> I mean, we don't know. <laughs> Somehow, Palpatine's alive. <laughs> Maybe it was Alfred. It's just a theory. I wasn't in the movie theaters when I when I when I saw that Star Wars movie. But had I had been, I would have walked the fuck out. What do you mean? That's the reasoning that Palpatine's in the movies again. You just said somehow Palpatine's alive. That's what they said. Yeah. All right. I checked out way before that. I checked out at like episode two. Episode two. I stuck around after episode one. With all what's his face. No, to be honest with you, man, like I don't know. Like now, when I watch the like the for, the prequel ones, I don't mind them as much. Or I don't like, or I like, you know, I like them better. It gets better with every watch, I think. Was right. the sh- was the shit stupid as fuck about it just being about politics for the three thing for the three movies? Yeah. But like a a lot of crazy cool fucking shit goes down, like the Obi Wan Qui Gon fight with Darth Maul. Like for, first of all, Darth Maul, the shit, one of the best evil characters ever created. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. You know what and I mean? The mar- well, the marketing also for it, everything was really good. Well, yeah. But, like, Darth Maul, he didn't speak. Am I right? Am I wrong? Did he not say a single word the entire movie? I don't think he does. You know what I mean? Like, that guy, that was so fucking insanely awesome. And then, uh, in 2, I don't remember if that's the Jar Jar Binks one or not, but there's a fuckload of cool lightsaber shit happening. You know what I mean? Like the prequels are where we get are where you get all the cool lightsaber battles. Name name all the cool lightsaber battles in the 
what do they call the three movies after? The ones, Shit, the, I don't know. You know what I mean? Whatever ones with the oh, like New Hope. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Like, okay, so there's the there's the original trilogy. There's the prequel, and then there's what's the ones that just happened? Somehow Palpatine's alive. Ones, those ones. Yeah, fucking Last Jedi and shit. Yeah, like those. Like, name the cool shit that happened in that. No, I didn't like any of those. Luke Skywalker projected his himself and a bunch and stood still while a bunch of fucking ATATs fucking shot at him. What? Yeah, I didn't really like any of those. You know, like there was maybe a cool couple of battles with Rey and Kylo Ren. I liked Rogue Squadron, but. Episode 7 was basically episode 5. Yeah. Or not episode 5, episode 4. I didn't get it. But, like, I'm... Fuck that shit. Yeah, it's dumb, but, I like... I just remember what, like, bullshit about it, because I didn't care. Like, I kept trying to watch it, and I just didn't right. care. Right. And, like, Ewan McGregor as fucking Obi-Wan? Fucking goaded, bro. Fucking goaded. And you get to see all the like I'm like I'm serious I'm telling you man the prequels kind kind of kind of grew on me because there's a lot of fucking cool battles going on in that shit. I have to watch them. What do we got? Shit, even Order sixty six happens. You know, creation of Darth Vader. God, he's such a bad actor. Uh, it wasn't great. It wasn't the greatest. And I've seen other movies that he's in. Also bad. Just bad. He's not great at delivering lines. I feel like that's kind of important in a movie. I I, I feel like they mis they mishandled the uh the turning of Anakin. Like the shots that they used. Cause they got a couple of cool shots, but like it's like he just crumbles under the under Palpatine's will and becomes like a little bitch kind of immediately but you know once you watch him again you'll see Pal how like how long Palpatine's been fucked like once he started like dig his hooks into Anakin it's from early on it's been a long time since I watched him mm. when they're on fucking Disney I would imagine right I'll probably yeah <laughs> easy <laughs> uh Z what, what's the one I use now that's something SX. Wait, no, I think I use Go. I think I use Go movies. I, I stopped using them. Um, because their TV, the TV series that they had, that I was trying to watch, like they wouldn't have the full episode. But I use WW four. That's a good one too. What's up, Goku? You're a puppy. You're a puppy. Yo, what is this X Men '97 season one shit? Did they make a new one? Yeah, that's only two episodes. All right. I don't know I if they plan on release. I don't even know if they're planning on releasing any more or not. But I right, I saw some videos today where people complaining about they only released two episodes. That might that could just be today's people being used to giving everything. I much prefer the weekly release. Hmm. Has Netflix ever done that? Yeah. It made ep episodes drop week by week. Yep, they still do. They should do that more. But it's usually for like, uh, like British Bake Off shit like that. You know what I mean? Reality kind of shit, Yo. game show type shit. You need to do that more, man getting people together to get lit and fucking watch a dope tv show was fucking fun yeah i enjoyed it times times have changed like the only thing time that happens now is like ufc yeah because we don't watch any weekly shit well, yeah because there's that. no that's no weekly it's all... shit it's all drop at once well i'm just talking like we don't watch that live dumbass shit we're it's, it's all word to your moms who came to drop 13 episode bombs so go ahead, sit in your fucking chair for 13 hours. Watch this content. Around here once a week watching The Masked Singer. 
Well, shit like Walking Dead and all that. T Pain made that show. I enjoy, yeah, T Pain's everything he did on there was fucking pretty fun. Fire. He bodied all the songs he sung. And then when everybody f found out it was T Pain, they're like, oh shit, this show's amazing. Got all those streamers. <laughs> Got all the streamers. He just had a contest on his Twitch last night, dude. And he threw a concert as as well. Damn. An actual concert had the stage set up and everything. It was the Miss Big Booty competition. I like it. Yeah. Goku, man, go lay down. I would have signed in for that for sure. For sure. Go lay down. What are we up to? We out here judging big butts. Ooh. This week on Taste Buds, we discuss biscuits and gravy versus garlic bread. Part two. Damn. That's a heated argument. They went part two on them. <laughs> biscuits and gravy versus garlic bread. But why are they versing? They're two different Yeah, two I know. Meals. They're not even you don't have garlic bread for breakfast, dude. Number one, no. that's insane. That it, Do you ever want to get hired or laid? No garlic bread for breakfast. Well, biscuits and gravy just isn't just a, a breakfast. But it generally is. Generally, is, yeah, it is. I get only you. served at breakfast. And lame households. <laughs> <laughs> you Who ain't their own biscuits and gravy. What kind of fucking mountain trash are you dude the tallest <laughs> I gotta get the tallest mountain peaks bro mountain i'll trash. fucking have biscuits and gravy for dinner i'll have them shits for lunch i don't give a flying fuck man well you know i like my insides so i don't punish them with biscuits and gravy too often but <laughs> okay like yeah. yeah man Got to put some vegetables in there with them biscuits and gravy. Yeah, with a, with a, with a body as big as that, you definitely need to love your insides. <laughs> Have to. There's a lot of work they got to do. Yeah. A lot. You see when Tom uh, Bert made Tom wear that 45 pound weight? No. He's like this. Is, he's like Tom. This is how much weight I lost. He's like, hold this and walk around with it. Right. <laughs> I lost that. <laughs> and what's funny is, Bert, you're still fat. It's like, yeah, we were telling you. <laughs> oh, I thought everybody was just telling me because they <laughs> couldn't mind their fucking business. Oh, dude, we were telling you because you're that fat. You're, so you're on he's the like, goal, not the good way. He's like, it's the picture of me throwing the baseball where it looks like my body's catching up to my stomach. <laughs> where my stomach's catching up to my body. Dude, he got way too fat. I wonder if he hit 300. No, he was at uh, 270 something. Yeesh. Yeesh. That is pretty big. That's a lot. You know, he's not. It's not healthy. That's six, for sure. eight. No, he's not 6'8. <laughs> Nor is he a line, lineman. No, none of those things. None of those things exist. Hungry fucking guy. I've been fasting since breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I've been fasting for the last 12 minutes. Oh, no, I just had yogurt. Seven oh, minutes ago. Oh, good, good shit today. That's what we're going to try to do. <laughs> I'm going to try to eat clean. And instead of going through the drive-thru, I'm going to go inside. <laughs> what are you going to do? Wash your Big Mac before you eat it? No, I was just gonna actually get out of the car to go get it. I'm gonna that's walk. I'm gonna walk into McDonald's. Yeah. I'm gonna get my I'm Mac. I'm not going to the drive-through today. I'm going to the counter. Take a Mc. Take a walk for that McDouble. Two McDoubles. Don't play. Maybe a McChicken too. Hell yeah! Put it all together on one sandwich. Throw the buns away and call it keto. Mm. You know what I like to do? I like to get a Big Mac and a and a fish sandwich, and then put the fish sandwich in between and the bottom burger and bun, and I call it a surf and turf. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. No, you shouldn't. 
the ramifications were not good. I don't think I'm putting a fish sandwich on my Big Mac. Then again, I don't really don't want a fish sandwich from anywhere that's fast food. None of them are that great. No. I fuck with Wendy's a while back. I was back. just going to say Wendy's is all right. Like, they have the de- the best piece of fish, but who gives a fuck? Just make a fish sandwich. Bitch. I could go to a hot chicken place and get a fish sandwich. They're good there. It depends on what music they're playing when I walk in. Usually it's hip hop or blues. If I walk into a French restaurant and I hear and I hear Mexican music coming from the back, I'm walking out. But if I walk into a Mexican restaurant and I hear Mexican music in the back, I'm locking in. You better stop. That's, you can never eat out be here. Good food. No matter where you go, it's Mexican music in the kitchen. Um, oh, okay. But is it good, though? Some of it, and then some of it's not. You like that seafood that you had that you were talking about no, last time? No seafood is good here, for the most part. Like, you can get catfish or, you know. Like <laughs> You're definitely food. getting catfished out there. Yeah, facts. Stood up, catfish. Why did you lie? To, why did you lie? Uh, that's how I feel inside. Yeah, I feel like a 10. And I'm like, well, I Well, feel I like... feel like I look like Beyonce. Yeah. Well, but you don't. You look like you ate Beyonce. And Celeste. Solange. Whatever her name is. Ele- like elevator queen? All... What have you been up to? We can see. Don't answer the question. You've been eating people. It's the only way you can get that fat. Where did you go? Where did you go? McDonald. McDonald. The fuck? Yo. I made some more carbonara the other night. Or basically, I say carbonara style. I didn't really have the right fucking meat or whatever. But that's, dude, honestly, if I'm having, if I'm ever having pasta, that's how I'm having pasta from now on out. Carbonara? Yeah. Fucking get some mushrooms, sh- like, onions, get some great, get, no, dude, fuck all that shit. Fucking get some grated, well, I mean, you can add it if you want. Get some, it's just basically a bunch of butter and grated Parmesan and two egg yolks. Pasta water. Just fucking keep on flipping that bitch. The cream, bro. The cream. Yeah, it's Alfredo sauce. Yeah. Delicious. Hell yeah. That's what I was talking about. Make that and then that, you know, I guess carbonara is supposed to have like green peppers, onions, and mushrooms and chicken. No, and it's bacon. carbonara is, is pancetta and spaghetti noodles. Pancetta is kind of like bacon. Yeah. Delicious little perfect cubes of. Yep. You either gotta cube it or or cut it into strips and fucking get it super crispy, and then uh, use it, save a little of the grease and whatnot. Obviously, and you Kroger save... does have pancetta in the deli section. Kroger does. Yep. Yes, sir. I just been using really thick bacon. It's yeah, that... whatever. That works. It's you know, the same shit. Delicious. But I, but I had, but I made it with chicken last night. That shit was so good. So fucking good. I made sure that chicken was juicy too. I fucking, I fucking put a little squeeze of mayonnaise on top of the chicken and then fucking spread it around with a spatula. The fucking chicken came out. Ju- yeah, chicken came out juicy as fuck. All that fucking fat just soaking into the fuck from the mayonnaise just soaking in the chicken. I'm saying. It's making me hungry for sure. I know. Goku is sitting here for the sixth time in five minutes walking up to me. What do you want? Oh, you want to walk? Take a walk in the snow while it's snowing? Name me a time when we've done that. Not once. Not ever. Come on, Skip. How you going to do that to me, Skip? We're not. Goo-hoo. 
Oh man, we got a, a big, big old cheap ass day in front of me. Bunch What's of that? people ordering pizzas that aren't gonna tip me. But that's all good. I'm gonna get a bunch of mileage. Drive around, get high. Yeah, I mean that's a given. It's a given. Make a couple of stops. Take you know, take the skates with me. It's a pancake sure. breakfast, Ron. We have it every Thursday. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Take the skates. I steal these I don't I don't steal any of these little old things ever. Allegedly. I gotta say. I got a I got a grip on these bags. <laughs> they're they're kind of funny, but they're free. So, you know, you just snag them when you're on the run. Mm. You got the bitches in the glove box. They don't look like any type of special bag. They're like condoms for bottles. Jesus Christ, what? What the fuck are they called? Dude, uh, that, that... Bottle liners. Bottle liners. Okay, because what I well, the imagery I was just having was not like probably correct. For a like I was a just for a bottle. I just imagined putting a condom over a bottle. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I was like, I was wrong. It's like a diaphragm because you so, put the bag in the bottle. Put the bag in the bottle? Yeah, or squeeze bottles for like uh, buffalo sauce and shit. Oh, like okay, that. so it doesn't get dirty. Yep. So the 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 sauces that have chemicals in them, like chili oil or citric acid, don't they stain don't the shit. The plastic. Yeah. Because most of those squirt bottles, they cheap out. And they buy Fuck the water-based, yeah. the, the, the ones that are only for water-based stuff. And sugar and oil-based stuff. Right. So you put tomato sauce in one of those motherfuckers, and it starts to make the bottle thinner and thinner. A.K.A. you're feeding people plastic. Not the biggest deal. I don't give a fuck. No. You don't own the place. You get more plastic in you from the dust that comes off of tires than anything else. By inhaling it, it's in the air. Inhaling in the air tonight. Yeah, we're all full of microplastics. It's fucking dope. Nothing oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I like the baby version the best. Better check in. Yeah. Let Ollie's mom know that I have to work. Because I was fucking... My car was in the shop for 11 days. Yeah. Five of those days, I was supposed to fucking work. Damn. So I was literally short. I literally lost out on like 900 Money. bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Eight to $900. Right. On top of having to pay 1150 to get the Nissan fixed. There was so much fucked up on it. Damn. I mean, they, they charge a lot, but whatever. So now I got to work my ass off for the next few weeks. Right. But like I said, they're fucking switching managers out again because they've never had to pay a bonus to anyone. And they're not going to start paying bonuses if they don't have to. Fuck no. So if you don't pay a bonus, the person above you doesn't have that bonus count against them. So at the mm -hmm. end of their fucking quarter, the money paid out in their bonuses is lower, so they get more money. It's fucked up. It's crazy how what they do, but it's not that crazy, I guess. It's just no. Like it's, a, this is what they. It's what they do. It's what they do, yeah. It's what they do. Can't be churching it up and calling it crazy. It's yeah. part for the course. They're sneaky, is what they are. They not even that sneaky. People just keep falling for it. They're it's, not even human. Well, they keep getting kids. In my opinion, they're kids. Technically, they're adults. You know, they're the youngest was nineteen. Mm. So an adult, but you know, putting them in in charge of a failing thing. No, no. To have them improve it just maybe, so you don't pay them a bonus. Maybe that's the strategy, though. It, it is for the manager, for the, the guys above them. Yeah. That's They've been I mean. doing it for years with this store. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's strategy. Yeah. That's how they can. It's, it's a way for them to, instead of putting money into the business, to put it into themselves. 
Yes. And that's why those people who own that shit are probably brokies. Or they're struggling. Oh, no, they're ridiculous. It's This franchise is crazy. There's so many stores in it. And there's only, there's like, it's not publicly traded. There's like four owners of 160 stores. Jesus. Yeah, these guys are so loaded. They don't have any idea what's going on at these little stores. They don't need to keep track of the guy, the guys that only make a quarter million a year. They make millions in profit every year. All four of the owners do. Millions in profit just off of right. Domino's. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in Nashville, dude. So much profit. You can literally throw half of the products away and still profit out of Nashville. Jesus. 17 fucking dollars for a large or 1610 for a large pizza with one topping. And it's only a 14 inch. It's not a 16. It's about what it is out here though. Yep. They have to follow corporate shit. Domino's is very profitable in the right areas. But if it's in an area where people are willing to go get better pizza, it's not very profitable. Right. Like Michigan. Is there pizza like Port suck? It's not great. They're living, you know, they'd be living on the bites and their garlic sauce and that garlic drizzle. Really? I want to say, because, like, the accoutrement around the pizza is pretty decent. Last time I was yeah. there. But last time I was there was a long time at this point. You got to know what to order. Like, if you want a pizza from there, I would get probably a thin crust with marinara instead of regular sauce. And Cracker crust? Yep. I don't like their dough. They even make it? Nope. Just comes in on a truck. Disgusting. I agree. It takes one hour to get to make dough for the entire day. Yep. People can't run a mixer without breaking it though. That's true. People are stupid. I was being nice. <laughs> People are stupid. Yeah, that's what I meant, dude. <laughs> that's dude, 100% what I meant. Fucking jets, bro. Uh, they nice. got rid of subs and they got rid of subs and they got rid of medium pizzas because it was getting too because uh there was too many complaints about it's about it's there's too much going on. It's too hard. Really? Yeah. I wish. The dude, medium. Dude, the medium sandwiches. pizza was one of the most ordered things at that location I worked at. Yeah, like, that's one of our most ordered things. Getting rid of a medium pizza is absolutely insanity. Whoever thought of that is just the dumbest person ever. It's because they didn't want to, they wanted to make it more streamlined and easy for the employees to... Oh, they want to sell deep dish. Well, I mean, it's Jets. Yeah, they don't want it. They, they want to steer away. I bet they're trying to get away from making round pizza in general. That ain't going to happen. People like Jets rounds. It's good. It's not bad. It's good. Not at all. It's better than Domino's, better than Little Caesars, better than Pizza Hut. Yeah. For sure. It's. I just don't get it because I don't order it because I like the square. And I, if I'm going to Jets, I usually yeah. go get the square. Go for the square. I fuck with the New Yorker. I'm going to go there. Because that's a small stretch to a round, stretch to a large. Yeah. And the large dough is the large pizza dough is too much dough. There's too much flop. I liked the only way I don't mind Domino's is if I take a medium dough and stretch it to an extra large mm. or a small to a large, like you said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like I like the bottom to get crispy, man. And it in the the ovens that these pizza places use are not. It's not. No, no it's not stone. It's there's there will be no crisp fucking conveyors dude it's junk yeah there's no uh, it's, there's no crisp you can run it through as many times as you want it doesn't matter it's just gonna be cardboard it's gonna burn the top of it yep would it kill a player to get a fucking bottom a bottom heater <laughs> on this conveyor belt oh that's right you guys can't you can't make a pizza on a hot screen dang get with the program in this bitch all right that's taken care of tarot Man, I got a feeling I should probably go into work an hour early. Just to get some money? 
That and I don't know what's going to be done. I don't know who's been there, and I don't know how busy it's been. Right. Like, I know that one, I know there's two people there who, if it wasn't too busy, they have almost everything we need done. Like, yesterday it wasn't too busy enough to, like, well, it wasn't bit too busy, I guess, because we got almost everything done except for a few little small prep things. Mm. Why don't you just call them? Because these motherfuckers ain't going to answer the phone. Call the store. Yeah, they. I will. <laughs> And they want that I'll just go to the damn call center and then I'll get forwarded and put on hold immediately. Really? Yeah. If it's busy. Well, people automate. I, mean, that'll, I guess that'll tell me if it's busy. Yeah. I'll call the store. And if they're like, hopefully, I don't know. I probably need to go in. Yeah. Because they're not, you know, they're not geniuses, but we got a couple of guys that. They make it a lot more tolerable for me to be at work. And I will say if the the physical environment was better, I would be a better employee. But I'm not that bad. I'm all right. I've been not complaining too much. Hmm. But I mean that's somehow yeah, yeah. Some way I've been complaining less. I don't believe you. I think I only yelled once yesterday instead of ninety six times. Damn, bro. So that's a fucking big step in a direction. I don't know if it's the right direction. We'll find out today. Motherfucker got Tourette's. I mean, actually, it wasn't yesterday. I didn't yell yesterday. It was the day before when I had to take 30 pies to Home Depot. I also had to make all those motherfuckers, and all of them were specialty pizzas. It cleared our make line twice to do that order. We had to restock the make line halfway through and then restock it after we were done with just that order. And it was the first order of the day. And we don't have party bags. Mm, that Someone sucks. took them. Like when I used to, we used to didn't have no problem doing this. We had two bags that held 10 each. Yep. And then bam, two bags that sit one on each of those bags I can carry with two arms. Oof. Bow, done. No, That's I had lot. to take it in eight bags. Dude. Bro. This one chick, and normally I don't really, I don't, if you don't tip your driver, if if I don't get a tip, I'm kind of pissed off because it's like, come on, man, we're, we live in America, you know the rules. Yeah, you and are it, ordering. And so that. I don't, and, and I don't really care what you tip, as long as, you know, it's a, throw, a, throw a gallon of gas. That's all I honestly think is required of somebody tipping, within reason and distance, is a gallon of gas. If you can't give me at least that. Or if you can't give someone at least a gallon of the price of a gallon of gas, then go get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I took a huge order, $700. Whoa. $700, dude. $10 tip. No, that's not enough. $10 tip. No. I took four trips. No, 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 no. Four trips no, back and no, forth. No. To, it was, and it was, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Thanks. Oh, whatever. I just got, I just got out of there. Yeah, that's. I'll take my fucking 10 piece and dip. Yeah, it's better than five, but it is not. The only reason why I didn't really give a fuck is because it was the morning and it was on a morning shift where it's usually shitty. Right. So and you probably like, weren't behind or anything. It wasn't keeping you from other deliveries. Goku, so. go fucking lay down. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, it really sucks when it, when those kinds of deliveries take away from you being able to get back to do more deliveries. Yeah. yeah that's why I was always shitty about having to go to fucking... Dude, they deliver all the way to fucking Electric and 10th Street. I did get a $47 tip for that order that I had to make, though. That's nice. Yeah. And fuck going all the way out there. How far do we have? I have some that are like Dude, and four and, and a half miles there and four and a half miles back. That's about the max. We go to that. We, we went there. They go, they go from to there almost to a little bit past Yankee. Too far. You know what I'm saying, dude? That's a stupid delivery area. And they're going to say, oh, here's here's a dollar for a $6 delivery out of a $6 delivery fee. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Pay some mileage. Pay some mileage. You guys got to pay mileage too. Not just pay mileage Yo. and a dollar. 
but it you, is their choice. You, yeah, so, like, you, the playing. reason why the reason why it got so big was because I kept on telling them like every time I went out of the delivery zone, I got fucked. I was like, so I'm no longer when I'm working, I am, I'm no longer going out of zone because it's not required of me because we don't deliver there. Right. It's, no, no one's about to if, do you a I was favor. Like, for I was doing like, that I was like, if you want to go ahead and extend the zone, be my fucking guest. But I'm not doing it. So that's why it's so big. Yeah, ours is very large. I'm in the right now. The one I'm in, I'm probably in the second largest that there is in this district. Actually, in a few districts. But it's whatever. I'm still doing like 22 an hour before mileage. That's good. So it's barely enough to make it. I do have to supplement my income. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It's got to be done. Yeah, I have to do it. It's got to be done, dude. There's no no way around it. Mm Mm-mm. 22 is enough for Port Huron. It's not enough for here. Mm -hmm. It's enough for almost anywhere in Jackson except for Ann Arbor, Grand Rapids, and probably like Farmington Hills and shit. Traverse City, it would be okay. I don't know about that. Yeah, about 22 is what you'd need. Nine to $1,300 a month for a two-bedroom. It doesn't have to be a house either for me as long as it's a two-bedroom. I could find something, but I can't find that here. No, you couldn't find that here. Not for that price. Oh, an apartment for nine to thirteen, nine to thirteen for a two bedroom, yeah. somewhere in there. It's expensive. It's, it's getting fucking crazy over here, bro. Damn, dude. It's. I was talking about this the other day, dude. Like, why is it so fu- like it takes so much fucking money just to fucking struggle to get by? Well, we had COVID and we kept printing money. So now before that, before that, it got substantially harder. Well, uh, well, yes, but but still, really, it's because of the food went up. But like, and I understand inflation and all that shit. But dude, sixty grand when my when our parents were our age, dude, would have gotten a brand new fucking truck and a fucking huge down payment on a house. How much? A huge. Well, a huge. Like how a brand new truck in the fucking eighties, dude? Yeah, like thirteen grand for a mid range one, probably fifteen grand. Twenty at most. Twenty, you know, thirty for a like a baller truck, a fucking nice fucking truck, like crazy nice. Right, and then you still have, yeah, and then you still have thirty grand yeah. th- around thirty five left, dude. That's that's twenty. That's twenty. That's a twenty thousand dollar down payment on a house. That's not. That's under a hundred grand, and then that's fifteen left for renovations and savings. You know how much you, did to to do that nowadays? Two hundred forty thousand. I can guarantee it. Oh, if you want a brand new truck, cheapest one is twenty nine thousand plus tax. If you want a full size truck, yeah, you're. I mean, I. It can be done, and I could do it, but I would not fucking like it. No, it would, you'd be struggling. Your, you, dude, you would be oh. fucking backwater berry struggling, bro. So I could live over on Pearl Street for 810 in a one-bedroom, one-bath, or I can live over on Botsford in a two-bedroom, one-bath, 650 square feet for 900. One-bedroom, one-bath, 850. One-bed, one-bath, seven. Yeah, so these are all... Like one bed. Here's a two bedroom for nine fifty, but motherfucker, it is literally twenty six thirty one twenty four Street. Are you kidding me? What's that? That's like, that's right over on to, by Kroger and shit. All that fucking area, right on twenty fourth Street. Like so, uh, somewhere down in between, uh, Electric and probably somewhere I don't want to be. You don't want to be over there, South yeah. Park. Yeah. How's that better than where how's that better than where I'm at? It's not. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's it's <laughs> not. It's the same. It is identical. Except it's nine fifty with no nothing included for a two bedroom, one bath, twelve hundred yeah. square feet. Yeah, it I is got, a single home. Yeah. I got lucky as shit. And it does have a garage. I don't know. That one's definitely worth it. But the home is only worth a hundred and eleven thousand dollars. 
1670 moves you in damn if i could get that here bro i would live in any neighborhood <laughs> dude i would live anywhere for that much here you know what like i'm saying any fucking neighborhood it's expensive could... as fuck so much money here but this is extremely affordable just a shitty neighborhood though for sure <laughs> that's a, that's exactly what i'm saying big deck i mean it's a nice spot <laughs> yeah houses are still affordable that. in the in the shit spots yeah of course they are 90 grand for a two bedroom one bath of of That's course they are bad. but it's on rural street wherever that is it doesn't look great it's got the shitty old looking chain link fence rural street that's over out. by fucking that's over by that party store on dove on that plate around there okay uh, off of 24th right right by the wood key your favorite place it's a gay bar Ooh, you can live over on wall, bro. Fucking seventy nine thousand nine hundred dollars for a three bedroom, one bath, sixteen hundred thirty six square feet. It damn, needs, I guarantee it needs everything. Inside. Thirty thousand dollars worth of <laughs> yeah. If you and me do all the labor and it's thrown together and shitty, thirty thousand dollars, I bet. Because there's no air condition. Oh yes, son. Son, son, hold up, hold up. We we'll just we'll go ahead with this for a second. We'll get this shared up here. What's this? This is the house I'm talking about. Seventy nine thousand. Oh, look at this shit here. Hold we on. got we got a little bit of porch. Oh, back porch is fucked up. See all the water damage over in hell. <laughs> oh, oh, on oh, these yeah. boards. Oh, god. Oh, on these and these over here. Look, this board is definitely not the same as these boards. I'll give you thirty. Where'd these come from? Who knows? I stole them. They're for someone's shutters from the outside of their house. All right, that's not terrible for a basement of an only eighty thousand dollar house. Yeah, but look but at where the water look damage. At over right? here. Look yeah. at the water oh, yeah. damage. Oh, look at that. You got to redo that right entire there. foundation. It's a, it's, a, it's a Michigan basement. You, you That's can't. Good. There's. It's the same thing that my parents need to do. Yeah. Oh, you, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Look at that fungus shit. That. Yeah. Oh man, that fucking. Is that black mold? Light. No, it's mold, but it's not black mold, so it's okay. It's not black anymore because it dried up. I sprayed Clorox on it. So there's no air conditioning. I'm pretty sure. No, maybe. There, no, I don't. I don't think so. No. There's not storage murder den. Oof! Oh my god, for you to throw up after you murder somebody, dude. And it's okay. So it's this. It's for before you murder somebody, you get a nervous shit and you have to yeah, shit. Yeah, right. And then after you <laughs> murder somebody, you throw up in there and, and then Bob, you wash your hands in this death sink. Right. Oh, parking lot next door. Great. No parking, I bet. Oh my goodness! No, you got a fence in no, the back though. No gutters. <laughs> I didn't even notice. No that. gutters. I just looked at it and see all the fucking. <laughs> no gutters. On a flat porch. Seven thousand dollars to do the gutters if with, you want them all real dope. Well, so the drainage that's happening on that deck is oh non-existent. Oh my god! Yeah, and that's well, that's that room. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It had all the drum. That's that fucking. It just leaked. And look at all the down siding right there wall. under that window different from every oh my god okay you can park in the back with this fucking oh cool thanks <laughs> look at the carts dude so that's who's been living in it people yeah. who steal those carts from dollar general right huge yard we could probably build like a, a coliseum in that yard huh. monstrous watch for the power lines beware of the dog so there's so the whole place smells like dog piss and shit yep Oof, we're going to show you the front again, again with the parking lot on the side because we're running. Oh, um, bling, because we didn't want to show you this. Because the floorboards need to come up. The wall needs to be repainted. Boards, my Porsche. The windows need to be replaced. We can save the floor, but we have to spend $10,000 to refinish all of them. No, you might as well just buy a new floor at that point. It's the same price. Exactly, so get a new one that's fucking going to last longer. Well, the new one would just go over top of this one. 
It's not going to last longer. They both last the same. Huh. Trust the me. house will be more valuable if those floors get refinished. But the area is never going to allow for the house to be valuable. So no. what you said, go yeah, right yeah, over yeah. top. Yeah. We're right over top. Yeah. I agree with you now. I, yeah. I second what you we're, said. We're, we're, not talking about, we're not talking about the Hamptons, <laughs> brother. <laughs> we're not even talking about not at this lot. Across the street. Ooh, that's better. the even worse picture. Look at they've already oh. tried to refinish some of, some of the floor. Ugh. Like you see the line where there was, who knows, rugs? Carpet? I bet it's rugs. I don't think it's carpet because there's this big gap. So it was probably giant throw rugs and then dog piss on the rugs. Yeah. Wow. All got to be done, redone. Yeah. So, like some of this shit could be saved, but it's like you're not even – who cares? Look at this wall. Look it's a, it's got a, it's else. all. Look it's, at all it's, the rest of it. it. Looks like a fucking haunted house. Dude, you know there's not. You know there's not a close up shot of the stairs because them <laughs> shits don't look like they're in great condition. They might not be. It's they're probably it might not be. You're looking at dude. You know what I'm saying? Look I'll, at how. Look. I'll give you thirty grand for it, maybe. So, you know on a land contract. Is all that dirt and shit on the walls? That's just from people never cleaning and touching as they go up the stairs. The same, yeah, the same spot. Over and over again. Dirty little fucking scrubby kids and adults. Ugh. Cool cabinets, though. Nice cabinets back here. <laughs> Woo! Get him. Jesus Christ, awesome. dude. This oh, my God. That's what $80,000 That's you. not even on the wall. Crack toilet. Look, up look at the sink. It's not even the sink's not even on the wall. <laughs> Jeez, what is going on, guys? Who lived in this? Look on. Go back. Go back. Go back. Look at oh, right above the right next to the toilet. The the press on the wall marks from taking the hard shits. <laughs> <laughs> they press so hard, right? Oh no, that's where they ripped off the the toilet paper rack thing. For the toilet paper. Yeah, and, and then right down. The fingerprints. Yeah, there's down the oh. next one below. That's the handprint where the lean forward. <laughs> that's the whole palm. <laughs> wow. It's bad, in bro. There. A phone in there because you take such long shits. This is amazing. Look this at all the holes in the house. ceiling. Woo! I didn't know there was going to be a pink room. Cool. Bright pink walls. <laughs> Love it. Oh, there's, cool. There's that deck. A moss porch. So we just had shingles on our porch. And look at this. Just fucking. Put shingles all the way up to the side. Bro, look at the side. They did it the wrong way. They over, they underlapped it. They didn't overlap it. So all the water just runs down this crack. That's supposed to be overlapped. And then run down that way. Ooh. Good job, guys. Good job. Uncle fucking Larry. Uncle Dude. fucking Larry did the, the the shingles on the roof. Look at this. Hey, just so you know, we got we got the storm windows too, so you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> wow, they come with the house. We're not going to charge you extra for those, but they oh. did. They're all broken. They actually all. were here when we came here. Yeah, they're all broken. The carpet we did, this mm. is custom. We paid to have it three different mm. tricolors in the eighties. That's what the carpet started as, and then nobody moved anything for the life of the carpet. It's actually artistic work. Yes, look at, look at the dip in the ceiling. Yeah, man. Right, right in the crack. See, yeah, yep. More leaking. Yeesh. This is a picture that didn't need to go in there. All of them are. <laughs> look at the next one. Oh, my God. The kitchen. What? Make it blurry. Make it. Oh, my. <laughs> look at the hole in the wall, bro. Oh my dude, all that shit, all that stuff on the floor right there, man. That's that's from grease and animal droppings and and life. twenty thousand dollars just for the kitchen, easily. No, it's what I offer for the place. Oh come on, twenty two five. Be fucking man about it. <laughs> I am. So I'm gonna have to fucking manhandle all these repairs. So let's see. They're asking seventy nine thousand dollars. It's gonna cost almost that to fix it. I think so. At least fifty five, dude. The roof. Look at that. 
It's not great, but it isn't as bad. Dude, I you think. need everything. You need roof. You need fucking. Yeah, all you, of it. you need gutters. fucking gutters. You need siding. Everything. Or you need fucking fascia. Everything. Everything. The entrances to the house are uh, all the doors. Ripped up. All the doors at a minimum have to be taken down, stripped, and cleaned and re put up because you can't buy those doors. There's not a single measurement in this fucking house. Where is that fucking bathroom? I can already and I can already tell that secondary roof right there up top. That door? Yeah. That goes outside? They don't have that door. No one does. That's a whole door frame. Bathroom door? No one has this size door. That's a whole door frame. Right. So your option is to bring it down and peel all this fucking disgusting paint they ruined it with cuz the door would have been fair if right. they didn't do that and clean all the hardware, add a piece of hardware in the middle to make it so it doesn't break the door or the hardware because you can't replace it. And as you can see, that hardware hasn't been messed with in a long time. It's all still flathead. Right. So what are you going to do when you ruin your fucking door that nobody makes? 400 bucks for a custom door, I bet. For a bathroom. $400. And I know that that second roof yeah. that's up front i know for oh a fact that it, it's built like a smile because i've put gutters on so many of them right right well and and it's like the uh it's not even built like that they just it started to sag and they kept piling shingle on top and it just made it sag more and more and more and more that right there yeah that started off straight and then nobody did anything with it no one went in up in there and reinforced it it probably doesn't have enough fucking joists <laughs> Why do you think all the pictures are on an angle? Oh yeah, because the house there, is slanted. <laughs> there's no there's no straight on photo of the house. Dude, and you've got like glass doors. Gotta go. Can't have those at all. A glass door to an entry in this neighborhood is unacceptable. With how much with how dirty the house is, everything's gotta be 80, yeah, everything's gotta be gone. Who knows? Completely new surface in the entire house. The only thing yeah. that stays are the walls. And, and most of the drywall's got to come down, too. Like, yeah. all along the outer side of the house, and wherever you go into the attic, if there is some sort of attic, or whenever you find out where it actually leaked, everything has to be cut out. Yeah. Holy fuck. 20 grand you want off 80, offer. Yeah, dude. You can't do anything with this house for anything more than 30, but 20 is a fair enough offer from what I'm looking at, motherfuckers. <laughs> You guys are crazy. Get pre-approved for six hundred twenty-nine dollars a month. Dude, no interest rates are are insane right now. Six and a half percent. That was disgusting, dude. See, and over here on Howard, this is only two bedroom, one bath at one thirty-nine for basically a thousand square feet with a garage, and it has fucking blue carpet. What? What the? That's the color that. Fuck Look at the That's ceiling. a made-up color, bro. Look at this the... house has made-up colors in it. Look at the ceiling tile. Oh, looks like every this, corner of the ceiling tile is tucked in. This is the robe you were talking about right here. Yeah. No, that my bad. That's the that's the belt that ties the robe up. Huh. The coral robe, the fucking right. made up color. God, that was so funny. <laughs> what is like a made up color? Coral, immediate coral. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good fast answer. One hundred thirty nine thousand dollars. We've got trash stove. For my one countertop, <laughs> yeah, a three foot countertop, linoleum that's coming up at the stairs, shallowest drawer I've ever seen in my life. Why is that a picture? Why is that a picture? All right, that's not the worst corner over there. <laughs> Why is the stove over there? <laughs> oh, damn, look at this basement. That's the basement. Yeah. How do you know it's a basement? Concrete wall on the backside oh, right, right here. On. Oh, and the pipe, pole right that, there. That pipe, yeah. Cool. Sewer. One cool room. Dude, it, these rooms could be cool, but that's made up colors, bro. I can't do that. I don't know about that. What the fuck is with these pictures? Why has everybody got yellow lights in there and everything? Ugh. That is the worst fucking it's bathroom. A tragic I've ever bathroom. Seen. It's clean. 
yeah and functional and it works but dude put like some slate gray in here somewhere to drown out this fucking Ugh. oh my god though look at the hat that's cool this is nah. where the this is where all the money is coming from yeah look, they and have but, like an extra and, 50, and look at my shitty floor yeah they're polish those are roosters yeah look how shitty it is it does it do this is a straight up polack house oh that's a good basement though it's dry locked yeah, for murders. And there's where you clean off after the murder. Yeah, everybody, every murder station's got a clean off spot. One thirty nine, bro, is not is not gonna is not not no. good for me. Thirty nine. You, you guys are crazy. No, that's a, that's an eighty thousand dollar eighty to one hundred and fifteen thousand. Uh, what what the house. last guys were asking? I'll give them that. Well, it, I, because it has that shower in the basement. It wouldn't be that much to add a toilet mm. in the basement, so you would have two places to shit. So, okay. If it didn't have that shower in the basement, though, it's not already set mm. up, and then it's way too much money. Add you the, can't be here. Uh, Garage, add, too. Add, add, the, add the walls, and then and then you can call it a two-bath. I'm not calling it a two-bath. I was just saying somewhere else to shit. Mm. I will shit on an open toilet in my own basement. See, in this one, so oh, yeah. uh, the garage is... 40 grand. Yeah, garage. Yeah, garage space is fucking crazy premium now because to build a garage is forty thousand dollars now. It used to be like twelve or thirteen, but now it's forty thousand dollars. Fifteen hundred square feet for one sixty off electric. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Any of these places, I'm not paying a hundred thousand dollars to live in Port Huron ever. Shit, this shit is one eighty for, but it's three bedroom, three bath. Of a fifteenth, yeah, We're, but isn't that up by the cemetery? It looks it's it, it's I think right, eight oh eight is up by the cemetery. Zoom in, it looks like it's right before Lapeer. If it's before Lapeer, suck my dick. It's the one eighty right there. No, zoom in. Can you just zoom in right there? You see a magnifying glass. Oh, uh, to the right. Just gra grab it. Oh, I and, got it. I got it. It's the uh, the one eighty right there. Yeah, that's before Lapeer. Suck my dick. That's on my side of town. Yeah, can't do that. Four, for four blocks for four blocks for me for one eighty, bro. For one eighty? No, what? fuck no. No fuck way. No. Right I, next to Port here on High School, dude. I don't fucking think I'm, so. I'm 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 near where the ninety five k is at. Bro, that is fifteen hundred dollars a month mortgage. Not rent, a mortgage. No. Nah. You're fucking on drugs. No. Not, I'm not crazy, none of that. Crazy. None of that. Oh my god! Oh, that's Ontario. That's Ontario. All right. well, I don't. Why are you even in here? Two hundred thousand for this shit on Griswold. It's a new no. build, I bet. So what? But, it is. It's those new builds that's on yeah. Griswold right there. But no, it's your you No, I'm right next to a fucking soup kitchen. In a fentanyl fucking factory. Yeah, I'm not. Or, no. My dad, methadone, no. whatever, dude. They're on I'm not fentanyl spending the, uh, over a hundred dollars to live in the fucking hood. That's what that's what Port Huron is. Where is this one? Woodstock. That's over by fucking um lighthouses and shit. Lighthouse Beach and whatnot. Whoa, it's five the, bedrooms. Yeah, that's not twenty four hundred square feet. Yeah, that's off of fucking uh, like Westwater area, I think. Why are you not popping up on that map anymore? That's not the right one. You click. You're in London now for some reason. Yeah, there you go. It's still putting me in. Uh, yeah, I have to zoom way in. Crazy talk, dude. They're all fucking nuts. It's not happening. I keep going down. That's the Ontario one. Yeah. What noise was that? I don't know. Is that you? My messenger, I guess? Oh. Yo, why am I... Oh, my... I will kill you. What? Oh, never mind. I thought someone put me in a group chat. I guess it's for something I have on sale on... Facebook Marketplace. Some kids' toys. And because I'm signed into Facebook, it's... I'm Chris Hansen. Whatever. So up there off of Shenandoah, this right here. It's over by Westwater and shit. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, normal crib so far. Well, it's well, it's huge. It's five bedrooms. It's like 2,500, 2,600 square feet with garages. So the area that it's in, it's a good investment property because you can Airbnb it. It's built in 76, so that means that it's it's probably got a lot of straight lines in it. And most of the door sizes still exist. Like, you can just go by that door. Right. Yep. I mean, it's very normal looking. For what we looked at, though, this is probably not as nice as we think it is. Cause we town in front of the bed? Instant lost $100,000 on the offer. <laughs> that is disgusting. How many yeah, kids no, do you have in your house, dude? So many. Look at those tables back there. Look at that. Whoa, right there. What is going on, people? Stop fucking. Right? Or wrap it up, dude. Somebody off. get cut. Does it, though? Yep. Oh, shit. There's a salon in there. Yeah, because there's so many people that if they there's got so haircuts, it would bankrupt them. <laughs> they wouldn't be able to pay them more. They're all girls, too. Oh, and it's in the laundry room. So, I mean, this is a real cool compound. Yeah, that's what you can call it. Nice garage. Aside from the fact that the roof is warped. Oh, no, it's not. That's just the gutters that need to be repitched. That's not so bad. There's one There's one or two places that that's you not, can pretend so bad. we're in a different place. At least you, you know that you can, you know it's going to be at least halfway decent when the photo of the house is straight on. Yeah, it's just like, here's our house. Look at that one to the bottom right, though. Holy shit. On would, Court Street, eight the... fucking bathrooms? Oh, this is an apartment. I know what that place is. That is so cheap. If that's a multi-family thing. Four, if that's one house. Four doors. Is that four doors? I. It looks like it, but it's so blurry that See I don't know photos. if it's... They're all shit. Because the place isn't great. So you're not showing me anything. Matt, well, you guys suck. That's I all that's your, there? Yeah, that's it. I almost Ooh, built, Yo, it was built in 1900. That's not what you really want in your life. No. No. Ooh, here we go. This is more of my favorite number. 69 69.9 <laughs> What do we get for $69,000? Well, there's not next to a parking lot, so it's already better than that other one. Mhm. Mm Sidewalk on each side, not great, but whatever. Cool, my garage is 40 feet from the house. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Is that the garage? Why would they have it in the picture? Cuz they're fucking dumb. We can't say they're That's smart. the entire property line. Tore up shit. Terrible, terrible, tore, tore terrible. Up shit. So bad. Horrible. Kill yourself. You know, drop ceilings. Kill yourself. A door that I don't know. They custom had fit for that. No, no, no. Yeah, they probably did because it was cheaper to have a door custom fit than it was to redo that door. For no, me. I believe you, but I'm just saying. No, no, no. Like, oh, I agree. Yeah. No, 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 no. What, what is that? What is that, what is that molding? What is that molding around everything? Look at the, around the like door. Everything. Oh, every. What is that bullshit? It's all. Oh my god. Shit, but god damn you. It's got you. It's huge. It's huge. Oh my god, dude! It's half a foot. It's huge. And you got window Too diapers. Big. Cool. <laughs> cool. Oh, I love your window diaper. That's exactly. You fucking what piece that of looks shit. Like. You fucking piece of shit. Oh my god! We got upstairs. Look at this is where the this see. is where the house came apart. Is that okay? Oh, oh, and there it is. There's the flood. Yeah. Here's the steps that go like almost straight up because they're fucking haphazard as hell. That are also water damaged. On the bottom. The, this furnace. Old, 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 and it's been flooded up too. Yeah. Rusting out on the bottom. Yeah, look at them. I mean, look at the bottom of the steps. Rusting out on the bottom of the hot water heater. Yeah. This is another $80,000 project for yeah. a house that's a piece of shit. It's only estimated at seventy grand, 
on fucking Zillow. Hey, we're so saving five hundred bucks. We could get that house for fifty grand, but it's still not worth it. No, I'll too give him, much. I'll give him twenty. There's no flip involved. There's no nothing. So like, if you're gonna get a house like this for fifty grand, it better be right where you want to live. Or you better be a fucking construction worker who knows exactly what to do. <laughs> Still gonna put another forty or fifty into it. God True. damn, these houses are fucked up. Yeah, dude. All right, now we're getting expensive. Charmwood, that, Charmwood. Yeah, that's yeah. an expensive area, though. That's not even. That's not Port Huron, though. Yeah, it's that's not. Over... It's Westwater shit. Right, right. That's not right. Port Huron. You fucking losers. Strawberry that's Lane township. And shit. You're you in know the township, I mean? you bitches. They just got lucky with their zip code being four eight zero six zero and not yeah. four eight zero five nine or whatever it is. Wow, this is super nice place too. Yeah, they got a fucking backyard with a back deck. Woo! Huge. Let's backyard. go. That's that's money. That's fucking money banks right there. You don't even you don't Woo! live in Port Huron anymore. If they you're included out like they this. included the fucking blueprint, bro. Yeah. That is. That was a microwave in the middle of the wall. Well, just above the stove. Oh no, that's a board to the no to the very left. Oh, and these motherfuckers put up sixty photos. Oh, yeah. Confidence is key. Oh, my God. Badass garage with a door that goes into the garage, too. Not like some sucker-ass suckers. Two points of entry. Look at that. Oh, deck is fucking sick. Solid. Chimney. It looks like, you know, no damage has been done anywhere on it. They cover up their lawn shit. These are just classy folks. Well, all you gotta do is maintain the, the deck. Blueprint. Motherfucker, yeah. this shit right there costs more than my car. That chair does. Ooh, gas stove. Holler. Huge granite oh. countertops. Huge. Backsplash is a little bit much for me, but high dollar. Whatever. Yeah. It doesn't look bad. It's just like a little flashy for me. I'm a broke-ass bitch, bro. Yeah, makes you want to fall down. Nice cabinets. The hardware on the cabinets is all titties. Expensive stove, nice stove. Like the highest end GE that's not monogram. Mm -hmm. Cool ass little, you know, kitchen style, like at a restaurant sink, half ass kitchen sink. So you can pull that nozzle off and spray like at the kitchens. Big ass fridge. That fridge that was is fucking, a fucking loco. $4,000. That, that's a fucking crazy fridge. Four doors for more whores. Oh my God, dude. Fuck, dude. You got two dining rooms? This this shit. Down, look yeah, at that. Pretty, look at the look at the down down. Oh my god. Okay, I'll fuck with it. The carpet is lush. The carpet is lush. They've been vacuuming. <laughs> yep. Nice fireplace. I don't know what that is, but it's cool as hell. It's probably a vent. It's cool as hell. Or a drying spot for the wood. Oh, yeah, that That's makes a, sense. Where you put the wood. Sweet. Damn. Another that's the same room. Yep, same room, different angle. Nice little step up. Dude. I mean, this isn't even... 359 is crazy cheap for this type of build, honestly. Yeah. Reminds this is an $800,000 house. house here, at least. Everything is fucking high-end. Okay. Oh, shit. They got the barn doors, bro. With the two entries to the bathroom. Fuck master yeah. bath. Oh, get me in this master bathroom. Right. Let me see what Let's real see life it. should be. Uh, don't skip to the baby stuff. Fucking Xavier. That's all you're going to give me? So shower over here. It's got the big rain shower on it. Well, it looks like it's pretty cool. It looks like it's permanently open. On this side it is. I don't like that. You walk out that door, that hole. Well, Sliding said. doors on that. But it should have better pictures of the bathroom, guys. Not that the rest of the house doesn't sell itself. Right. You don't even you don't need a real estate agent for this house. Oh, oh down into oh, the basement. Wow. Let's down go. into the basement here, the game room with mo chairs and TVs. Little bar in the back. This is pool table city right here. Yeah. Because a TV could go so yeah, pool table could come out that way That's instead right. of having the bar back there. That's everything. This is, where I, this is where all the entertainment yeah. goes down. Yep. Separate rooms in the basement, too. 
Let's go. Another bathroom. There you go. Nice little shitter. Nice shower. Yeah, that's it. This is the one. Charmwood is where you want to be, guys. 3,500 yeah. square feet for 350. And they did so much more that's with that other place that had 48. That's amazing. The eight bathroom that had 48. Yeah, who who that, knows what that's all about? That's fucking insane. I don't even know what that is. Where is North Boulevard? Oh, yeah. Well, fuck these hoes, man. I'm going to get some food going. For sure, for sure. Oh. <sighs> Pay attention to this fucking dog, apparently. He's going insane. Being a little bitch. He needs attention today for some reason. He needs it. Well, you better go and give it to him. I know, right? Stupid ass bitch. All right, man, I'll holler at you. Push out. Peace. It's below 70.